Well, it's a gloriously uh, sunny um, midday almost uh, here at um, Tower Bridge and uh, what's known as Horsley Downstairs. Um, this is an access onto the river Thames foreshore when the uh, tide is out, which is most definitely the case at the moment. So we're now down on the foreshore and you can hear me stepping in amongst the, uh, the gravels and boulders. And here's an old bit of a bicycle frame. But we're here right beneath Tower Bridge. A few people know that you can get down on the foreshore from here. Although this morning There are two groups of photographers practicing taking portrait shots with models in tow. And now groups of other people who've watched me come down the stairs are following me down as well. Passing in front of me is a flotilla of signets their mother leading the way. Five of them in all. Paddling upstream. Skateboard. Rubber tire. Pigeons are scavenging too. They call it mud -locking. London with its history, more than 2,000 years of occupation, means that this river has had most of two millennium human waste thrown in it at some time or other. And remarkably, mudlarkers who come out daily and some with metal detectors discover all sorts of things, hundreds of years old. The sun is shining and there's a bit of wind blowing downstream. We are actually here for a purpose, not just to record this sound walk, but also to collect items that we can include for a mandala, a mudlark mandala, an event which we're running for Team London Bridge, which is the business improvement district around this area and they've commissioned us a 
to create a mandala and then have it washed away by the river. key frustration of recording in a big city is the number of aircraft and helicopters. During lockdown we were blessed with calm skies. Here comes another one. It's really infuriating. <laughs> So occasionally you stop as you walk along. You keep your eyes peeled to the shingle in front of you. Just in case something catches your eye. The swans are returning here, so I'm going to keep my distance. I tread carefully amongst the river mud-covered shingle. I'm now directly beneath the walkway of the Thames Trail. Beside me is the embankment the original embankment built by Bazalajet team of I guess Irish navvies probably Someone has been here before me. Their footprints in the sand. We're right by Butler's Wharf Pier. So the sign tells me. glass fashioned by the tides, bits of old ceramic pottery, most of it 20th century by the looks of things. You have sections under pubs where there are lots of bottle tops and uh, whelks clamshells. 
And if you go past a restaurant, you often find lots of um, cattle bone. You have to be pretty selective, otherwise you end up with a huge bag full of items. Not rich pickings here. 